<laughs> well, it is the love story for the ages. That's right. A local couple is celebrating their 75th wedding anniversary. I love this. They are adorable. Dina Kupfer is meeting them this morning. Good morning, Dina. Oh, my goodness. My heart is so full. Good morning from Lincoln. We are celebrating, helping to celebrate the 75th wedding anniversary of Billy and Ron. And that right there is one of the very first photos that they took as a married couple sharing the cake, Aww. as so many of us do. That wedding dress actually also hanging up in this room this morning. It was October 16th, 1948. Take yourself back to that time if you can. For most of us, we can't because we weren't around yet. But this morning, we are joined by Billy and Ron, and they are... In such good company, we actually also have some family here. We have Candace, one of your granddaughters, and little Abby, one of your great great granddaughters. So we're going to get to all of mm -hmm. them. But first, for the two of you, 75 years of marriage. You actually told me, Ron, a couple of minutes ago, you fell in love with two things growing up. What were those? Cars and women. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, this little lady right here made the cut. Oh, you were just 16 when you got married. Was that scary at 16 yes. to marry a 19 year old? It was scary. Well, I, I wasn't afraid of marrying him. Yeah. It was just uh, how things would be when we went on our own, yes. away from family down to Oceanside, California, oh, on a PFC's salary. Yes. And you were also in the military. Let's talk about that, Ron. So you did have uh, some time in the military growing up. Yeah. <coughs> but when I was 18, uh, the, the gov government passed a rule that all 18-year-old men will receive, receive a, some service of one branch or the other. Mm -hmm. And I was faced with that. And then uh, they came out with this proposition that if you serve one year of active duty, that would meet your military requirement. Okay. And so I and a bunch of my buddies, we all joined for one year, yeah. thinking we were there for one year. Mm. But we didn't read uh, is under the one year, you're also subject to six years active reserve. Right. And so after one year of freedom, <laughs> They were called. They called me back in yeah. the Marine Corps. Now, during that time, you thought you might have had to wait six years to marry this guy. So you all yes. hurried this up. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah. And where did you get married? And we got married at Bethel Temple in Sacramento. And it's no longer there, is it? It's no longer there. No, no not it's for it's years. Good. Well, they're going to have a big celebration this weekend. And the woman who actually emailed us about the story is Candace. You are the granddaughter of these two. Your mother was their first child, right? Yes, yes. Okay, and who's this right and here? And this is little Abigail June. She is my granddaughter. So she is the actual great, great yes. granddaughter oh of my theirs. Gosh. Um, she actually has my grandmother's middle name, which it, so her name is Billy cool. June, and this is Abigail June. Oh, so. Does that make you feel so good that oh, Abby that has just, your name? That just takes my heart and just makes a whole precious, precious. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. I bet. So seeing your, your grandparents celebrating 75 years, what is that like for you? You know, it's actually been... Um, a uh, great. I mean, they are such an inspiration to myself and my husband. We've been married 26 years now, and um, it just they've shown our whole family a godly family and guided us through so many things. And just being able to help with the party, I've been able to see all the different like pictures and find all the different mementos. And they're just they're just a huge inspiration to our whole family. And you said at the top of your list of important things in your life was God, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. That's yes. right. Yeah. Well, we are so blessed to be here with you all this morning. Happy anniversary. Yeah, and to Ron, so happy sweet. 94th birthday. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we are so happy and so fortunate to have you in our community. They have been a huge part of our community, too. If you know the Roseville Auto Mall, this guy was one of the founders. By oh, the way. wow. All right. This is such a joy to be here this morning. You Thank really you for having us. And, and again, happy anniversary, <laughs> yeah. Billy and Ron. Thank, Thank, you. You so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. They're so Thank cute. You. The <laughs> legacy in that room, 75 years of marriage, their great-great-granddaughter is in the room with them. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's incredible. He did like cars and girls. He did. They say, do what you love, <laughs> yeah. you never work a day in your life.